OK, let's uh, create some arrays then. Um, OK, first of all, size, of course, is specified when the array is created and not when it's declared. And um, before creation, of course, um, the array variable is going to be null if it's a class field. And if it's a local variable of a method or something, it will be unspecified. But uh, you probably knew that anyway. OK, here's an example of uh, creation of arrays. Here we've got uh, uh, the declaration there. And of course, to create, you use new, as you might expect, and uh, um, the type, and uh, you specify there the uh, size. So that will hold five integers. And here we've got um, the declaration and creation all in one line there. Of course, here's a, here it is separately. Here's the declaration there. And you can say IB equals new, and uh, you specify the size there. So IB will hold seven integers. And you get at them by saying IB with some brackets, and inside those brackets you put where you want a zero up to six for the seven elements. Okay, then here's, uh, here's a nice and simple uh, MT1, which is uh, my type three. And we've got i equals, because it can be a class as well, you can have here, not just an ordinary primitive. And uh, here we've got i equals 2, and um, here we're declaring uh, an array with two dimensions. And uh, you can use in here, as you can see, you can put any expression giving a positive integer. It has to be positive, or well, zero counts as positive as well. So there's an example there where it's been uh, used. So that will be, uh, if i is 2, this will be 3 there. And uh, then it gets incremented there to being 3, 4 times 10, that's 40. And uh, here is uh, an array here, which is uh, declared a bit differently again. This, of course, is an expression giving an integer. So character literal there and there, which of course is a bit weird, but uh, it turns out to be, in our case, Z is uh, 122 and 9 is uh, 57. So that's what that turns out to be. And um, if you've got a two-dimensional array like this, you can you can do this, which is um, specifies the first uh, bound as being 3 and leaves the second unspecified. And for uh, so that goes from zero, one, two. That's the three there. And for each of these here, you specify the size of the second as being four, one, or seven. So that's not a that's not square at all. It's a two-dimensional array. It doesn't have to be square. All right. Here's um, here's an um, an error. If you're doing if you're doing something like this, you've got to, the gaps have got to be on the right hand side, not on the left. The size has got to be specified from the left side here. So you have to fill these in first. So only you can't have this out. Give a compiler error. Here's uh, something which is permitted as well. There's an integer array and you put zero zeros be put in there, that's quite okay as well. And um that's an array of zero length. Now it's not null at all. It points to, it refers to, that's the correct term, isn't it? It refers to an array of zero length. I see does. And um, when you create an array, when it's created, the array contents get filled with um, either zero or null, depending on what it is. If it's a reference type, it's going to be null. If it's uh, a primitive type, it will be zero in some form or other. Okay, just in case that wasn't clear, here's, um, here's a diagram to make it uh, a bit easier to see. Um, what we've got here is um, an integer array, a two-dimensional integer array uh, within a class. So at this point here, IA is going to refer to uh, null. It's going to be null, basically. And I've represented null by this uh, square box here. And uh, first thing we do here is create the first dimension and uh, it uh, make it length 2. 
and uh, so IA then is going to refer to um, this array here of length 2 and uh, because this is an array of an array and arrays are uh, reference type um, this means that each of those elements is going to be set to uh, null. Right now we take the uh, um, uh, first uh, element, that's element 0, and uh, set that to an integer array of length 3 and uh, the uh, next element we set to an integer array of length 0 and that will give the following here uh, that element will then refer to uh, an array of length uh, 3 and every element in it is going to be set to 0 because uh, integer is a primitive type and uh, this element here is going to refer to uh, an integer array of length 0 so it won't be null but uh, you won't be able to put anything in it right, here's the same sort of thing with uh, using types um, um, a yeah, two-dimensional array T there and um, uh, we set the uh, first dimension to length 2 and uh, then the uh, first element in that is going to be set to uh, uh, an array of length 1 and the next element is going to be an array of length 2 and uh, so at that point we end up with uh, something like that with uh, that being null and finally we set the 0th element of the 0th element to um, uh, refer to an object of type T right, a new T there. so creates this object of type T there and uh, gets set to refer to it 